start the hair at the corner of the eye, right? Or one finger behind the corner of the eye to start the bubble, right? Have we all, we've all heard that, right? Okay, that's wrong. <laughs> so don't do that. So make sure that this hair is very, very, very well combed. Like you need to make sure this is combed and perfectly straight because if it's not, there is no way your top knot is going to turn out. It can't turn out if it's not perfectly straight. So once it's straight, this is what I do. I'm gonna stand like this, so sorry if you're behind me. But I feel the hair and I pretend I'm making a bubble, right? So if I go like that, well, that's not enough hair for my bubble, right? Like, <laughs> And if I go like that, like I don't like a big bubble because the wider the bubble is, the wider your dog's head appears, right? Mm -hmm. Even if your dog has a big heavy head, if you make a big wide bubble to go with it, you're just telegraphing the width of your dog's head. So to me, that's not quite enough. To me, this is too much. So I'm gonna feel, and I'm gonna look, I think, oh, like, look at that's kind of pretty, right? Like she looks like she has little squinty eyes and pretty poodle expression. Her stop looks nice. I mean, I think that's gonna make a pretty bubble. So right where the hair is pinched the hardest, right, by my finger, is where I am going to part the hair. So right where it's pinched the hardest, so the middle of that pinch, I'm going to part, and don't worry, I'm going to do this again. I'm going to part it from side to side, again, right down to the skin. And then I'm going to comb it with the finest comb I have, right? Then I'm going to take my rubber band, and I'm going to put it in that hair three times as close to the skull as I can. So here we go. So we go around three times. Right, so there, there's the start of our bubble. So then, just grabbing a little bit of hair at the back, I'm just gonna pull that all the way back. Then I'm gonna put my thumb in the stop, I'm gonna pull that forward and pull it back again to look like that. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna pinch the hair in the same spot I did originally and push it forward, right? So it already kinda looks like a bubble. Then I put one finger and my thumb in the center of each eye and I'd simply pull this forward like that. And there we go. <laughs> Hi guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please give us a like, and if you haven't already done so, you can subscribe to our channel below. Also, check out leadingedgedogshowacademy.com for our premium content. We had a lot of fun bringing you all this information. See you soon, bye.